In this video, you will learn how to configure the most popular VPN protocols on Linux. Let's get started. Everyone wants to have secure and private access to the internet, and using a VPN is one of the ways to achieve that. VPN has several benefits. Your data is encrypted. You mask your IP address. You can access some restricted content. Sometimes VPN can even help you to avoid internet speed throttling. And using VPN is essential when you want to access your corporate network or your office computer. I have described all these benefits in the article which is accompanying in this video. The link is provided in the description. But in this video I will show you the most common ways to configure VPN on Linux. These are the options which I have encountered during my use of Linux to set up different VPN protocols and I would like to share them with you. Open VPN. It is the most popular software to set up a VPN service. It is an open source software. It is used by many businesses and you can also use it yourself to set up your own private VPN server. I have a dedicated video on that topic. Most Linux distros have OpenVPN pre-installed and you can find it in the network settings. If you don't see the OpenVPN option in your network manager, you can install it by running this command if you are running Ubuntu with GNOME desktop. After the installation, open the VPN settings and add your VPN credentials. Depending on how your OpenVPN server is configured, you need to use different authentication methods. It can be certificates, only password or password with certificates, and static keys. I use the certificates method when I set up my private VPN server, which I showed in that dedicated video which I mentioned before. So I download the certificates and keys and specify them this way. Very often when you set up OpenVPN server or when you get credentials from OpenVPN server, it is provided as a configuration file with .ovpn file extension. You can easily import this file into your network manager by using the import option here. I have seen that not all the options can be imported correctly, so you may need to edit these settings manually, which is very easy to do. You just need to open the configuration file, it is a simple text file, and copy all the settings to your network manager. After that, activate your VPN connection, and now your internet connection is secured. Cisco AnyConnect VPN Cisco AnyConnect VPN is another popular VPN software that is used by many businesses and institutions. Often they require you to install Cisco proprietary software that will run on your computer to connect to Cisco AnyConnect VPN. However, you do not need to do that. Cisco AnyConnect can be configured on Linux using open source software, which is called OpenConnect, and it has an option to use Cisco AnyConnect protocol. So you just need to install these programs if you are again using Ubuntu with GNOME desktop. And after the installation, go to the VPN settings and you will find an option Open Connect Cisco AnyConnect. Click on it and provide the credentials which you received from your VPN provider. Usually you just need to specify the gateway, which often looks just like a website address or an IP address and try to connect. After that, you are likely to see a login window which will offer you to enter your username and password. And your Cisco AnyConnect VPN should be activated. In some cases, your VPN provider may also require you to provide some certificates and scripts. You can also easily provide them in the OpenVPN settings window for this VPN connection. I have used Cisco AnyConnect with OpenVPN for many years and it has worked smoothly. SSL VPN I also have experience working with an organization that uses an SSL VPN, which stands for Secure Socket Layer Virtual Private Network. The documentation on the VPN configuration stated that it is necessary to download and install Forti Client. But again, I prefer to avoid installing third-party software on my computer, so I search for a built-in Linux tool to configure SSL VPN services. And turn out there are some tools. Actually, it is very straightforward to install and configure. First, you just need to install 40SL VPN packages, then open its settings and configure it. 
Again, you just need to provide the gateway name, your username and password. And by the way, when you name a network connection, it can be any name. You can just name it like WorkVPN. And then I entered my password when I try to connect. L2TP IPsec VPN connection. <laughs> yeah, the name is a little bit complicated, but it stands for Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol. This is another VPN protocol which is used to set up VPN connection. And I use it only occasionally as a backup for my SSL VPN protocol at my workplace. The configuration on Linux for this VPN is also very straightforward. I just needed to install L2TP packages, go to the settings of this VPN protocol, and enter my credentials, which are again pretty simple. A gateway, username and password. And I also had to provide some additional options such as pre-shared keys and phase 1 and phase 2 algorithms. After that, my VPN connected without any problems. Troubleshootings. When I was configuring all these VPN protocols which I mentioned, I also had to do some troubleshooting sometimes, and it's not like the protocol did not work correctly, it was me who did not configure it correctly. These are the four main key things which you have a look at. So as I mentioned, when you name your VPN connection, it doesn't matter what you use as a name. However, you should be very careful when you specify a gateway. For example, sometimes it may not be just uh, an address. You may also need to specify a port. For example, it could be like vpn.somewebsite.com and the port will be 443, let's say. Also, when you provide your username, sometimes it can be just your username, which you use in your corporate network, for example. But often you would also need to add uh, an additional part of that username, something like at somewebsite.com. So that could also be an option, so pay attention to that. Also, when you write your password, make sure you have written your password right with the right keyboard layout. In some cases, you may not be able to save your password in your network manager and you would need to enter it manually every time. So make sure you enter the right password. Finally, you need to make sure that you have downloaded the right keys and certificates if such are required for your VPN connection and make sure you have provided them correctly in your settings. As I mentioned in my video how to set up your own private VPN server, I have shown how to manually copy all these settings and paste them in your network manager settings. So in this video I try to show the easiest way how to configure VPN connections using the graphical network manager. Unfortunately, not all companies provide the instructions on how to configure VPN on Linux, but as I have shown, most of them can be configured using open source software.